Hello and welcome. Many Russians are trying to leave the country to escape the military mobilization announced by Vladimir Putin. Tickets for direct flights between Russia and Serbia have sold out and there are long queues at a number of border crossings. As Russians leave, Moscow is holding self-styled referendums in four contested areas of Ukraine on whether residents there want to join the Russian Federation. The West has described those votes as a sham. Here's the US Pentagon Press Secretary, John Kirby. Uh, we believe that these will be sham referenda. They won't be legitimate. They certainly won't be free or fair. They're designed, they're, they're preordained uh, to allow Mr. Putin to say, look, this is Russian territory. And now Ukrainian attacks are on, Ru on the motherland, not on Ukrainian territory, which is, of course, not true. And as you heard uh, Jake Sullivan, our national security advisor, say just today, we're not going to recognize that. And so many other nations around the world aren't going to recognize that. This is nothing more uh, than a ploy by Vladimir Putin to try to gain through some legitimacy through politics and electoral issues, that which he cannot gain militarily. But it's not going to work. No one's going to recognize it. Uh, and what needs to happen is Mr. Putin needs to leave Ukraine. He needs to stop this war. John Kirby, let's talk to the BBC's Hugo Bachega, who's in Kyiv. Hugo, just tell us what you're hearing from those four regions occupied by Russia where those votes are beginning. What do we know about the process? So polls have opened, uh, Karen, uh, in these four regions where this so-called referendum is being held in the regions of Luhansk and Donetsk in the east, also Kherson and Zaporizhia in the south. Uh, in Zaporizhia, uh, polling officials are going door to door with police officers. They say this is a security measure, uh, but critics say that this is a sign that this is a referendum, so-called referendum, that is not fair and free. Now, officials here say this uh, doesn't have any legitimacy, has no legal force, and uh, authorities here in Ukraine say that this is Russia's response to its uh, military defeats on the battlefield. For weeks, we've been talking about the Ukrainians going ahead with this counteroffensive, uh, reclaiming territory, and uh, the authorities in Kyiv uh, believe that this is the way Moscow is responding to that. So the vote was announced on Tuesday. Uh, it begins today and it, it will be held until next Tuesday. And I think to give you a sense of what we can expect in terms of results today, uh, the TAS news agency, which is the Russian uh, state news agency, said the polling, uh, a poll that was conducted in those regions where this uh, so-called referendum is being held, suggested that between 80 and 90 percent of voters uh, are in favor of joining Russia. So that gives us a sense of what we can expect in terms of the result from this so-called referendum. And the consequences of a yes result, as, as it's widely expected to be, Hugo, this will enable to rush, Russia to claim with, with no legal justification that these regions are part of Russia and any attacks on them, any fighting against them in, from Ukraine is an attack on Russia itself. Exactly. And I think this is the biggest fear here, that as a result of this so-called referendum, the Russians will say, look, any attack on those areas are now on attack on Russian territory, and we're going to react to that. Now, the Ukrainians are saying that uh, nothing changes. They're going ahead with their counteroffensive, that uh, this, uh, what is happening today has no legal basis, and uh, the international community is not recognizing uh, this so-called referendum as well. And Remember that back in 2014, when the Russians uh, invaded Crimea, the Ukrainian peninsula, they also uh, carried out a, a, a referendum that wasn't uh, recognized internationally before they annexed uh, the peninsula. So I think the fear is that this is going to uh, happen again uh, with these, with parts of these four regions that are now under Russian occupation, that uh, this so-called referendum is the first step towards annexation of these territories by Russia. Hugo, for now, thank you very much. Hugo Batshega in Kyiv.